It's 3.46 here on 5AA. Occasionally I have trouble sleeping. Uh, I might get up during the night um, and never thought of a solution, but my next guest might be able to help me. Dr. Vivek, Vivek Aranki, how are you today? Very good, thank you, Richard. Uh, thank you very much for having me. No, thank you for coming on 5AA and talking to me. Um, and when I read the email that came to me... Um, Grinding teeth and sleep, is there an issue there? Yeah, yeah. So stress is one of the most common causes why people are grinding their teeth. And grinding their teeth is uh, one of the most common um, sleep problems out there. And it's called bruxism. And bruxism is essentially spasming of your masseter muscles that causes the clenching of your jaws and grinding of your teeth, which usually happens at night. And what basically happens is when people wake up, they find they, that they've got headaches, they've got jaw pains, and um, that could subsequently lead to dental problems, such as broken teeth, if it's not addressed early. And what, what's, the, what's the the answer? I mean, people go to the dentist and they say the dentist is grinding your teeth, and then, then they go along and, and sometimes you've got to wear a mouth guard, don't you? Correct, yeah. I mean... People either go to the dentist before the issues happen or after the issue happens. And you really want to avoid the after simply because if you go to the dentist after you get the dental problems, I mean, you're looking at broken teeth and dental implants or dental cramps, which could be painful and expensive. So what you really want to do is to avoid it before. And the answers there would be dental splints are very common, um, otherwise stress management techniques. But more and more patients are typically turning to Botox for their masseter muscles. And the reason for that is that the treatment itself takes typically 15 minutes. It's about two to three injections per side. Right. Very mild discomfort. It kicks in in about two weeks um, time and lasts about three months. And what that basically does is that it, it reduces the action of the master muscles. So it reduces the grinding. So the mouth starts pretty much um, protect the teeth, but they don't actually stop you from grinding. But the Botox injections into the master muscles weaken the muscles so they can actually stop you from grinding and hence it might prevent further issues down the track. Because a lot of people would, would say, w will I look better if I have Botox injected into my <laughs> mouth? Yeah, there is that part as well, isn't there? Correct, yeah. There, there are, there's a lot of people who get Botox done in for aesthetic purposes. So these are people who get Botox into their masseter muscles to slim the masseter muscle. So typically this is very common in females that basically want a lower profile of the lower face. And it, because it slims your face, it looks more feminine. Um, but there are more and more people who are turning to this treatment for non-cosmetic reasons. I mean, pre-pandemic, we were treating about 25 patients a week. Post-pandemic or during the pandemic, we were treating about 50 patients a week wanting masseter injection. Wow. And now the interesting thing is before the pandemic, only about 20% of patients were having the masseter injections for bruxism or grinding their teeth. Now, this is this has gone now up to 80%. Um, so this what this basically means is that there are more and more uh, patients who are grinding their teeth and clenching their jaw now compared to before COVID. And when we spoke to patients as to why, there's a lot of stress. Um, there's been a lot of stresses that people have been experiencing as a result of COVID, and this is one of the reasons why people are grinding their teeth at night. Because I, I think, along with me, nobody would have ever thought you could go and get Botox to go along and cure this, or you know, help with it. Yeah, so Botox is a drug that actually works in between the nerve and the muscle. So what it does is it reduces communication between the nerve and the muscle. So it, it's very common as the cosmetic drug where people get it done for their foreheads or their frown so that they don't express themselves as much and help, hence it helps the wrinkles. But if you then look at it from a broader perspective as to where, where can people benefit when you stop the nerve from speaking to the muscles, this is a perfect example. I mean, other medical reasons why Botox is used is in cerebral palsy when people have muscle contractions. And what basically happens is you inject it into the um, muscle that is contracting and hence it helps people relax the muscle and hence there's less pain. It's typically also used in bladder as well by urologists where people have bladder spasm. So there is a lot Lots, there's lots of uses of Botox outside cosmetic, but when it comes to grinding their teeth, it is it sort of sits on the overlap where people who were typically getting it for cosmetic reasons have discovered that it has helped them for 
grinding their teeth, basically, and it is one of the most common users of Botox. I mean, some of the things you're mentioning today, the, the, you know, getting Botox can help with, I, I, I've got to say, I would not be alone in that to go along and say, well, hey, I've never heard of some of these. You know, do, does, would your dentist recommend it? Would your doctor recommend it? Yes. So basically, uh, well, I mean, Cosmetic, we've got 13 clinics around the country and we've got one in North Adelaide. Uh, we typically do it for bruxism. Um, now, uh, GPs are a good place to start and they would be able to recommend you to a dentist who would be able to provide this treatment as well. But for dentists to provide Botox for bruxism, there is additional training that's needed. If patients are in states such as New South Wales where we can't help them, I mean, the best people to call would be the Australian College of Cosmetic Surgery and Medicine. They essentially train medical practitioners in all things to do with cosmetic uh, medicine and surgery, and they'd be able to refer them to a appropriately trained practitioner. At the end of the day, the most important thing in healthcare is that patients see a practitioner who is well-trained so that all medical treatments can be done in a safe manner. It's just, yeah, I mean, you just, I ne- ne- did not have any idea as well, um, you know, about all this, which is why you're coming on the show as well. Um, give a plug for the business, Cosmetique. T- tell me all, ab- tell me all about it. Yes. So basically, we started off as a West Australian business and we opened in, um, Perth and then we now, we've now expanded up to, uh, um, to Brisbane, to Melbourne and in Adelaide as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, we mainly provide cosmetic injectable treatments and laser hair removal. And in Adelaide, we are in North Adelaide. And, uh, yeah, our phone number is 1300 320 272. So I had to look that up. I hardly ever call myself. Exactly but, uh, <laughs> right. That always happens all the time. And your website is? AustralianCosmetic.com. And our Instagram handle is Cosmetique Surgery. And most of the patients usually find us using our website or our Instagram. It's how we find things nowadays. Dr. Vivek Aranki, thank you very much for talking to me today on 5AA. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. I didn't have any.